I am back with some more mommy tips and some more mommy talk. Today, we are going to be discussing five reasons to wait to have kids. Now, this one's gonna be for my married women who are planning to have kids with your husband. Okay, this one's for you. But before we get started, do not forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button that's gonna be to the right of your screen. And do not forget to hit your notification bell so you get all your updates about every time I post. Okay, thank you all so much for watching. Let's get into it. Now, like I said in the intro, this video is for married women who are planning for kids. I'm not being biased about it because I do know that there are couples out there who are having kids. But from my um, religious standpoint, I do feel that when once you when you decide to have kids that you do need to be married so i am speaking to my married women also i do have one disclaimer before i actually get into this and that is that i am not saying that without these five things that you will fail when having a child no not saying that at all but what i am saying is that without having these five places in five things in place or have done all of these five things it is gonna make um, parenting just a little bit more challenging and I absolutely am speaking from experience all five of these things either I did or did not have in place and um, it made things easy more or less easier or more or less challenging so with all that being said let's get into it one get adjusted to married life married life is already one of those things I can just like throw you for a deuce you are already having to learn how to um, pay bills together, live together, um, combine incomes. You're already having to learn all these things. So without having already adjusted to that and um, becoming comfortable in whatever routine that you all have, why bring a baby into the situation? It's only going to complicate things. My husband and I were married um, about a, a little over a year when I got pregnant. But when I had him, I had him April 14th and our anniversary is April 20. Seventh, so I'm. I had him on April fourteenth. Two weeks later was our two year anniversary. So we had roughly two years to get adjusted to married life. Now, as you all know from my um, labor story video, I was not planning on my first one, but the good Lord saw it fit for me to have a baby. So we said, Amen. Yes, we would have liked a little more time to get adjusted, but we did have that two years to get adjusted to things, to become more comfortable with each other, and to just get some things in place before I actually got pregnant, and especially before I had him. So if you need more time, I would definitely say to wait, to wait, um, but at least two to three years is, would be my tip. At least two to three years. Two, preparing financially for it. Now, there is really no way to prepare financially for a child and when i say that i mean there are always going to be um unexpected expenses that come up with kids i mean it's just it's, it's just going to happen but i will say if you are already living paycheck to paycheck you are going to be in for a very rude awakening <laughs> have a savings have an emergency fund have something put up because you're gonna need it three finish your education Education is something that can definitely impact fi finances in, the, in a positive way. And if you finish your education before you have kids, you have time to get into that position or into that job that is gonna pay you what you need to support a family. From experience, my husband is still in school. Um, he's going to school for Christian counseling. And it's, a, it's really, really difficult when um, you have to give kids baths and you have to cut the grass and you have to go to work and then you have to come home or wake up super early in the morning before work to do homework and write papers and all this stuff it's just a lot you can get through it there are plenty of people who have kids and have finished their education and gotten jobs and made it work and, and yes but the path to it can be very very stressful and very very difficult especially for a new young family so finish your education pre-baby four travel <laughs> go out of town go on vacation with your husband get out just travel just 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 go because it all comes to a screeching halt when you have kids <laughs> not to say that you aren't that you won't be able to travel if you have children let me let me just put that out there but things do become a little bit more complicated in regards to traveling think about breastfeeding you can't leave <laughs> babysitters grandparents aunties uncles they don't want to take off all their use all their vacation time at work so that you and your husband can travel no. So a lot of your vacations are probably going to be family vacations with the kids. My husband and I do take a trip, just him and I, once a year for our anniversary. And I can depend on my family to hold, hold us down for that. But all these other sporadic vacations, 
No. I try to do a trip by myself when he's at home with the kids. He tries to do a trip by himself while I'm at home with the kids. We do our trip together, me and him for our anniversary, and then we do our family vacation in the summer. So get your traveling out the way. Try to as much as you can. Travel, 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 go, just go, just go. And five, securing your home. By securing your home, I mean if you are interested in purchasing a home. My husband and I were in the process of getting our credit and stuff together to, to purchase our home when I found out I was pregnant and I was flipping out because I didn't know if it was going to screw us up. But come to find out, we were in the best position because the baby had not came yet. I was still working at the time, so we were able to still use two incomes. Think about that because after you have a baby, mom, if you want to stay home, that means your two incomes goes down to one income. Also, because we did have two incomes, we were a, we were at the time paying off a lot of our bills, which was helping our credit scores go up. And this kind of ties back into when I say prepare financially. Realize that after you have a baby, sometimes you may not make the best decisions um, in regards to doing what you have to do to survive. You might have to use a credit card sometimes to go grab some Similac. If the baby needs diapers and you have this bill that's due, what are you gonna do? Which can sometimes make your credit score drop down. And not to say that this is for in, re in regards to everybody. I know that this is not for everybody. Some people out there will be fine. But then you have, let's just get real. You have those people out there, this is just real life for them. And it just kinda is what it is. So I say all that to say, before you have a baby, if you are interested in purchasing a home, I would go ahead and do that because um, you just you just never know where you're gonna be um, financially, especially in regards to your credit scores after you have kids. And I personally would rather have a secured home that I know I can pay my mortgage and work on my credit score at, while I have a 30 year mortgage to pay <laughs> than um, be in a one bedroom apartment and I, now I have two kids and where it's cramped and, but our credit is jacked up and I can't get approved for a house. That's just me. All right, mommies. That's all I've got for you today. I truly, truly hope that you enjoyed this video. Now, if you did not, if you have any questions or comments or concerns about anything that I said in this video, please leave me comments down in the comment section below and I will be sure to get back with you as prompt as I can, okay? And if you did enjoy, please leave me comments down in the comment section below. I need to hear it, you guys, I need to hear it, okay? Thank you all so much for watching, but don't forget to subscribe. Click that subscribe button that's gonna be to the right of your screen. And do not forget to hit your notification bell so you get all your updates about every time I post, okay? Thank you all so much for watching, so, so much for watching. And mommies, please remember that your kids appreciate you for everything that you do. And moms-to-be who are planning, your kids will appreciate you for everything that you do and have done to prepare for them. And a woman who fears the Lord, her children will rise up and call her blessed. Thank you all so much for watching.